what are the trauma scores that we have one very 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 important part of this trauma assessment is gcs that is glasgow's coma scale if you are going to exam and if your concepts are not cleared about gcs then you are the most unfortunate person on the planet what is gcs all about one very important thing that you have to understand is it is assessment of best it is not only assessment of clinical response to eye motor and verbal component of the bot patient it is assessment of best re clinical response to eye motor and verbal system this is what is very 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 important so we have three important components eye opening let us see how we see them so we are going to check response to we are going to check response to eye opening then we are going to check the motor system so response to motor system and then we are going to check the response to verbal system so there are three important systems that we have so we have e we have v and we have m let us see what are the parameters that we have in this e v and m when you talk about eye opening eye opening what are the things that we have suppose i got a patient whose name is raju so got a call that sir there is a patient in the emergency the patient is suspected of head injury please go and see that patient i'll go and just assess this patient so when i went and i saw that patient was doing something on his mobile phone so what kind of eye opening is this students eye opening in this case is spontaneous so if the eye opening is spontaneous the maximum score given to eye opening is 4 suppose i went to that patient patient was sleeping i took his file the name was raju and i called his name hi raju how are you so to my command he opened the eyes so this is what is known as eye opening to command so eye opening spontaneous eye opening to command this is three suppose to my command also raju didn't open the eyes then i gave him a painful stimulus so what is that eye opening to pain so this is given a score of 2 and despite this painful stimulus if there is no response i will be giving a score of 1 so minimum minimum response that can be recorded is 1 and maximum to eye opening is 4 eye is done then we talk about the verbal system so e v and m so when we talk about the verbal system i went to see that patient patient greeted me hello doctor how are you is there anything to worry about how long do i expect to stay in this hospital so everything that he is talking or is speaking is absolutely you can say correct and oriented with time person and place he knows that he had met with an accident he is in hospital is talking to a doctor so such patients are categorized as oriented so oriented it is given a score of 5 so now the maximum response in i was 4 here it is 5 suppose i went to see him he say hello radha hi how are you let's go for dance it's a pleasant weather today so he is not oriented with time person in place whatever he is speaking grammatically the sentences are well formed he is speaking absolutely correct but i am not radha so is not oriented to person this is not discotheque not oriented to place this is not right time to dance so remember this is what is taken as confused so confused i would give a score of 4 then we have something which is known as in appropriate words now what do you mean by this in appropriate words suppose i say radha then i say ramdev then i say kochi then i say canada then i say kim jong un so i've taken names and each of this words they carry their meaning but i cannot connect them to form a calculated phraseful meaningful sentences so it could be anything like ramdev and kim jong un went to meet radha in kochi and then from there they went to blah 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 whatever it is so there could be anything which could be concocted from these individual words and this is what is known as inappropriate words and this is what is known as three so inappropriate words then it is incomprehensible this is again very 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 important incomprehensible words or you can say sound so patient is moaning in pain so that doesn't carry any meaning so that is what is two and then you have no response this is what is one the third system and the last system is the motor response so the motor is suppose i went to see that patient and i asked that patient raise your right hand he raised it raise your left leg he did that also so what is it he is obeying my commands so if the patient obeys command 
obeys command he is given a score of what students he is given a score of 6 so you can see maximum is 6 for the motor system now suppose i went to see that patient he couldn't do that then i will give him a pinch over his right wrist or maybe left wrist and i ask him can you experience or can you tell me where you are experiencing pain he said yes sir there is a painful stimulus at the level of left wrist so he is not able not only able to you can say experience the pain he is also able to localize the pain so that is what is known as localization so localization of pain so localization of pain then this is what is five then suppose i gave him a painful stimulus and i ask where can you feel the pain he is not able to you can say it, locate that but he withdrew his hand what does this mean this means that there is a rule of the body that you will always retaliate to anything unpleasant so he is not able to localize but still this is an unpleasant sensation so he withdrew his hand as a gesture of defense so this is what is known as withdrawal to pain so withdrawal to pain is given a score of what as given a score of 4 suppose he goes into complete flexure posture why as a generalized defense mechanism or posture so flexion to pain so extension to pain we have seen flexion to pain this is what is 3 then we have extension to pain extension to pain this is what is 2 and then we have no response nr so this is 1 so maximum gcs it can be 15 by 15 minimum gcs it can be 3 by 15 this is what is very 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 important now comes confusion that sir if any component is modified suppose if the patient is having hemiparesis or if the patient is paralyzed or suppose sir patient is having intubation done then in that case sir how are you going to assess that thing so let us talk about the concept of modification of the gcs and according to new rule any modification to any component we use a suffix nt what do you mean by nt students it is non testable non testable i shall give you one classical example the example is raju brought to er he opens eyes he opens eyes to pain this is one thing and then he has been he has been intubated he has been intubated and localizes pain and localizes pain then what is the gcs so if you talk about opens eye to the pain so eye opening to pain means he is having the in the gcs component e is 2 then v when you talk about you cannot check it because of the intubation and what is intubation students modification so in case of modification we just add nt that is non testable and then m he localizes pain so localizes pain that means it is m5 so the total is e plus v plus m so it is 2 plus v nt plus 5 so that is 7 v nt remember you cannot write this as 7 why why let me tell you if you write this as 7 the problem is the component of modification is lost so when someone is reading the 7 vnt they know that verbal system couldn't be tested and it's non testable and remaining two systems are contributing a score of what 7 so this is what is very 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 important very important now what are the types of uh, you can say head injury on the basis of gcs let us try to understand them now when we are talking about types of head injury there is something which is known as minor there is something which is known as mild there is something which is known as moderate and there is something which is known as severe so minor mild moderate and severe these are the four grades of head injury on the basis of gcs what is minor gcs 15 by 15 this is what is considered as minor so suppose if you have a patient with laceration over the skull and bleeding profusely patient is coming to you you ask the history he tells you everything correctly there is no morbidity e v m everything is in perfect by perfect so 15 by 15 so you'll say that this is a minor head injury what is a mild head injury it is nothing but gcs 14 to 15 by 15 i'm sorry so gcs 14 to 15 by 15 this is considered to be mild now when we are talking about this component there is one very important thing that 
सर जीसीएस फोर्टीन इज ओके बट जीसीएस फिफ्टीन बाई फिफ्टीन कुड इट नॉट बी माइनर वाई इट इज माइल्ड Always remember if it is a fifteen by fifteen, it's a trap. And what is a trap? You have to understand this trap. If there is associated history of loss of consciousness, so if there is a phase of amnesia, patient was telling everything correctly, but he said, sir, just after injury for ten fifteen minutes, I was not able to recall anything. I was not in my senses. That is where the Jesus is right now, fifteen by fifteen. But a component of amnesia or loss of consciousness is there. So thus, it is a mild, not a minor injury. Next is when we talk about GCS. If the GCS is nine to thirteen by fifteen, that is what is moderate, and GCS less than equal to eight, that is three to eight. This is considered as severe. Now, one extra edge important point for you people: GCS less than eight. This is considered as coma. Now, what is coma, students? Eight or less than eight GCS is considered as coma. Coma is a state where you cannot support spontaneous ventilation. So, students, if you are getting a GCS less than eight, you have to understand this patient will succumb on its ventilatory parameters. So, therefore, therefore they require mechanical mechanical ventilation. This is what is very 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 important point that we all have to understand. Next is. this is an old version of gcs this is an older version older classification of gcs